scripture for the week. Our scripture for the week this week is found in Jude 1.24. Jude is the last um, book before the book of Revelation. And um, it is good as we enter into the new church year that all of us go again to read the book of Revelation um, because it is a book that the scripture says, even for reading it, you are blessed. So I encourage every one of us, as we enter the beginning of another church year, we, we just celebrated to the glory of God the 70th anniversary of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in this month. And um, we are beginning another church year. Uh, we thank God for perfect jubilee. So it is good to enter into this new church year um, with the book of Revelation. I'm encouraging everyone to read that book. It will bless you and um, it will prepare you and I for his coming. Hallelujah. So this, so our scripture for the week, Jude 1, 24. Jude 1, 24. We read it together two times and then the third time we are going to be reading it possessively. Hallelujah. So you read after me. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. One more time. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Now you will read it together with me possessively this way. Now unto him that is able to keep me from falling and to present me faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. I'm sure you are glad the Lord himself is filling you with his joy and enveloping you with his glory in this season in the name of Jesus. So you lift up your right hand and you make your confession. You say, thank you, my Lord Jesus Christ. You shall continually keep me from falling and you will uphold me and strengthen me as I abide in your presence and you fill me with your joy and gladness always. In the name of Jesus, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen.